with the cereal and toast. Some of you are yawning and eating music notes. Then it's time to go to school, whatever is the weather. Remember there's a golden rule to always sing together. We'll be friends forever. Tommy and Oscar, they're just like you and me. There's a time when in your life you will have to fight. If you follow this advice, you'll always do things right. Trust your friends and not your foes. It's how the saying goes. If someone steals your favorite toy, call the small pig alien and the little boy. Tom and Oscar, they're just like you and me. Tom and Oscar, they're who you like to be. I've outdone myself. My other inventions are nothing compared to this one. Now let's see if it works. Professor Leonard's house, I'd better hurry. His inventions are very dangerous. Ha! I've escaped from him this time. You hoo Ignition? Hey! I can't see anything anymore! No! Oops! Instead of turning on the machine, I turned off the city. Let's see if it will start. <laughs> Whoever would have thought it works! What kind of an earthquake was that? Anyone skateboarding up there? Actually, I think it was Hurricane Leonard. Boy, does he ever have a lot of energy. Hmm, he leads a healthy life, doesn't drink, doesn't smoke. Let's celebrate my invention! Good thing he doesn't drink. And look how much he's smoking. Oh, Uncle, you're a total mess. You're right, Tommy. My belt doesn't go with the color of my shoes. I'm going to change my clothes. Good, now we can continue. Do you want some popcorn? Ah, oh, thanks, but I prefer pop music. Oh, here it is, the Rainbow City School's website. Here are Tommy's grades. You passed, Tommy. Huh? Yippee! Let's see what I got. Straight A's! Cool! Let's check Oscars. He got an F. <laughs> oh, come on, Oscar. I was only joking. What? So I promised it, it, it permitted it, I mean, passed? Yes, and with excellent grades. Yippee! <laughs> Well, I guess essentially, passing means one thing. Vacation, yeah! Where can we go? Let's take a nice trip to outer space. Could be dangerous. One time I fell into a black hole and hit my head. I feel like going around the world. But the world already goes round by itself. It goes round and round and round and round the sun. I was talking about a cultural vacation. Ah, that's for old people. That's not true. Well, let's go to the beach. As long as there are no black holes. Kids, please calm down. Listen, I have just the thing for you. Nice, huh? Wow, a hot tub. Just what we needed. Tommy, it's not a hot tub. Mind you, if you install a couple of faucets there and a soap dish over here, but let's not wander off the subject. Thanks to this machine, you can spend your vacation on the net. The net? Which net? I know, a net to catch fish. Ha! Oh, the big net. Oh, then one for whales. Oh, really? I mean the internet. What? what? This machine transforms real people into virtual people and transports them on the internet. Wow, why don't we try it? Because it was invented by Professor Leonard. Hey, what do you mean by that? <laughs> Go on up, everyone. It's a free ride. 
You will travel on automatic. <clears throat> Tommy, did you bring a wool sweater? Why? Uh, well, there are so many viruses floating around on the internet, you oh. might get sick. And don't forget to visit my website, www.leonard.snooze. We're off on a virtual vacation. With a lot of real fear. <laughs> 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 What a crash! And who would have thought? Look at that! Even the scars are hurting! I knew it! This old bathtub doesn't work! Now look where it's taken us! In front of the school! Yuck. Uh, Tommy, we're not in front of the school! We're inside the school's website! Uh, Woohoo! We are on the internet! Hello! <laughs> oh no, not the principal! I don't like this place! We'd better leave! <laughs> now, what nice place are we going to visit? A library? A pottery museum? No, too stressful. Better a relaxing place, like a nice video game. Now that's what I call surfing the net. Don't talk about surfing, I feel seasick. Are we almost done? This is just the first level. Hey, look, that's Blubber Robot. He's worth 10,000 points. My poor head's about to explode. <laughs> well, his just did. Maybe it's contagious. I want to get out of here. Ah! Oh my, she really did get out of here. And they say uh, video uh, games uh, are uh, harmful. Uh, what are they? <laughs> <laughs> yes, we beat the record. All right, that's enough. Let's go somewhere else. Hey, I can't get out of here. Something strange is going on. Is our record valid? Uh, <laughs> the internet machine is warning us that there's a virus coming. Uh, I didn't get my shot. <gasps> using this playground because nobody knows it's here. We have just three days to build a playground that no one will ever miss again. Give back and get active within your communities. Maybe we can change that talk tube into a megaphone. I think that would be the perfect idea. By renovating and building playgrounds. That was amazing! Start your timers. Giver's digging up a playground. Giver, here on Cubo. For more information, go to cubo.com. Hey, Floppy, they're waking up. They weren't destroyed by the super virus? How can that be? Ouch! Stars are spinning around my head. Mine are all down for the count. Nothing broken? Let's hope not. My insurance policy's expired. But, but, where are we? Maybe we're in another video game. Hmm, looks more like a science fiction movie to me. Something like, a uh, Star Trek. Yeah, and I'm Captain Spock. Huh? <laughs> but that's not possible. It's true. He doesn't have pointy ears. <laughs> They speak strangely. They don't seem to be made like us. Take your paws off me. These two look like human puppies. They come from the outside world? How is that possible? And you, who are you? Huh? What kind of place is this? The explanations later. The super virus is approaching. Better get to safety. Come on, let's go to internet land. As you all know, our world is in jeopardy, a most serious, uh, threat. Um, uh, I can't remember. What were we talking about? Animal danger. A prominent ranger. No, no, we were talking about the super virus. Don't pay any attention. He's a bit hard of hearing. Let's get back to our discussion. As you know, the super virus is destroying the net. If we don't stop it soon, it will eventually reach us and then it'll be the end. This virus is making all the most important sites crash. But we're not a website. We are real. We are a civilization created and developed on the net. 
We are descended from electronics just like you're descended from monkeys. Monkeys? I'd say this one is descended from a toy. This is King Valve. And we are the guardians of internet land, together with Pixel, Microchip, and Chop, Byte, Mini Byte, and Kilobyte. Hey! Who's that down there? Um, excuse me for being late, Your Majesty, but these kids have survived the virus. They come from the outside world. What? Earth beings? That's impossible! Now I understand. What happened? Has he gone into standby? What was I saying now? Ah, yes! I understand why these kids survived! The super virus is probably an evil being that comes from the outside world, just like them! And so, with their help, we might actually manage to defeat it! What?! They're only children! This one even looks sickly! It's true. In fact, I feel very dizzy. You're telling me! Congratulations! You've just been hired as warriors on a short-term contract! Short-term for what? Our lives? <gasps> the virus is here! Valiant warriors! Internet land is in your hands! The people are running to the shelters. Let's hope the antivirus dome resists the impact. The great central engine is over there. It's the heart of the internet. We must defend it. But where were they made in Japan? Let's hope the dome stops the super virus. I'm afraid our careers as warriors are over. We didn't even last till our first paycheck. Are the special effects over yet? Yay, the dome is safe! Why aren't we dead? You see, everything's turned out for the better. <laughs> huh? <laughs> I hear someone laughing. They must be very happy to... <laughs> 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 I've heard that laugh before. Yeah, me too. <laughs> Who is it, huh? <laughs> Jerry Lewis? <laughs> no, it's Decibel. <laughs> well, I see that my virus has not been able to destroy this cute little dome. I wonder if I turn it upside down, will snow shake all around? <laughs> King Val was right. The danger does come from outside. Now, let's see if this place can resist my army! Ha! <laughs> Once I have taken total control of the net, I will create chaos on planet Earth! I will be the first emperor of the virtual universe, and of the real one! How <laughs> greedy! Ah! I broke a mirror fixed seven years of bad luck! Sir, there is something very unusual going on there! What's happening? Oh, but, but, but those, those are... That kid with the bananas on his head and his friends! They are very dangerous! We must get rid of them! Send the destroyer robot! No! We're not safe here! <gasps> Destroy! <laughs> Hello, beautiful. <laughs> Yoo-hoo! Nice little toy. I'm here. I wanted to introduce you to my friends. Ah! Attack! <laughs> really, Kilobyte? When are you gonna go on a diet? Oh, it's these wings. They're too small. They can't support my weight. <laughs>
like in the cartoons. Now I'd hit it with a space hammer or a rotating blade. Maximum protection with super sun tan lotion. You see, it protects your skin from sunburn and you still get a nice tan. are fighting the destroyer robot. They've left the central engine unprotected, the heart of the internet. Now it will be a cinch to take over the World Wide Web. <laughs> Kill the blight, get out of there, that's my spot. Yeah, well it's mine now. And these are professional warriors? Oh, there you are. I was just looking for you, actually. The great search engine is unprotected. If it falls into enemy hands, it's the end of the internet. Run to defend it, and don't you worry about that piece of junk robot. Ah! <sighs> All right, let's settle this. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, he's gonna ruin my profile. He's battery operated. I thought he was spring loaded. <laughs> he's paralyzed with fear. <laughs> Now I know why internet access is free. Only a crazy person would pay to get punched like this. Let's go check out the central engine. But Tommy, how do we get there? Hmm. Here's how. Professor Leonard's machine. Come on, we've got to hurry. Here we go. Oh no, we've got a parking ticket. Nothing is going right today. The guards are after us! The ones who hand out parking tickets? No, I mean Decibel's henchmen! Well, if that's true, buckle up, because we're going to turtle! <laughs> Traction. But we've reached our destination. Look! The Great Central Engine! So, this is the heart of the internet. If Decibel gets his hands on it, he could do some serious damage. He could make all the stock markets crash and send the world to poverty. He could even start a nuclear war. The destiny of this universe and of the world is in our hands. But it will soon be in mine. <laughs> now let's settle this once and for all. I'm not good at math, but I'm pretty good at music. Decibel's allergic to music. It's true. As soon as he hears a note, he runs away. Relax. I'll knock him out, and then I'll be right back. Okay, let's have it out. <laughs> we have gotten in our ears. Your music does nothing to us. <laughs> this is the net. Music must be compressed. Compressed, huh? I'd say this is compressed, all right. Must be an MP3. Enough. Eliminate them. One thing's for sure, he's really irritating. Uh, let's run! Yeah! Finally, I'm to become emperor of the internet. Once I'm inside the engine, I will control everything, and I will destroy the Earth! <laughs> Decibel's going into the engine!
must be very funny. He died of laughter. Oh no, it's the end! Decibel's entering the heart of the engine! For the very first time, the eyes of a mortal will rest on the heart of the internet. What is this sound? It's beautiful, sublime! There is something divine! <laughs> Calling me. Who turned on the light? You are the evil being who comes from the world outside. Now listen to me. I'm the first one to be born and grow old on the internet, and I've seen it all. I've seen millions of people, men and women, become friends. I've seen millions of children from all over the planet write to each other and get to know one another, and all this through the internet. However, I've also seen things that weren't so pretty. And that's why we've got to stop people with bad intentions from taking control of the net. Uh, uh, I was just joking. <laughs> with muscles like these. Well then, kids, I think your vacation is over. This wasn't quite the vacation I had in mind, not at all. <laughs> I may be just a poor old man, but let me give you a little advice. The real world is great. Go out and play. Don't spend too long on the virtual one. And above all, take a real vacation. It's not as dangerous. Goodbye. <laughs> Well, then I guess it's time for us to go home. <laughs> <laughs> Look, there are the warriors. Oh, the kids, they're leaving. Soldiers, I salute you. Ouch! Uncle, what are you doing? <laughs> Since you didn't like my new invention, I've changed it. And now it's a supercomputerized whirlpool hot tub. Bye, Uncle. We're going on vacation. Have a nice trip, kids. <sighs> oh, there's a virus in the computer. <laughs> I don't know about you, but I'd really like to know what happened to Decibel. This darn virus has ruined the computer. One moment, no, let me out. I'm afraid of the dark, Bobby! <laughs>